So I am going to trace out my leg or cut around my leg. This is going to be kind of difficult. Um, the type of fabric that I am using is from Joann's Fabrics. Um, I got about at least two yards. And um, I will list the pricing and all that type of stuff down below for you guys. But I'm just going to cut out the shape of my leg and I'm going to kind of give at least two inches um, for sewing space and you just want to make sure that you have some really really good shears I got these shears from um, Walmart for about five dollars at they are the Westcraft or Westbrook or something like that to that nature whatever brand they are but um, I'm just cutting the fabric and now I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm just going to wrap the fabric around my leg because I do want this boot to be really, really um, snug and tight because I have seen a lot of um, velvet boots and they aren't as snug, they aren't as tight and they kind of just don't look cute. So I am just placing a couple of um, little place marks where I would want the hot glue to be um, at the bottom of my leg. Of course, it gets skinnier. So of course, you are going to tighten it up around that area. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess of the velvet. And this velvet, it's pretty, it's stretchy, but not that stretchy, if that makes any sense. You wanna try it on before you um, continue to glue down the seams. And you're gonna kind of make some, make a couple of more marks just to, just to make sure that it's as tight as possible. And be careful not to burn yourself because I have burnt myself plenty of times making these boots. And you're just going to go ahead and glue up the back now I know you guys have been asking me okay can you got, can you put zippers but doing zippers is entirely too annoying for me but I'm gonna try to do some zippers in the future so I'm just gonna press the um, hot glue down to make sure that it's um, nice and secure and I know someone asked me um, how, how well does the glue um, stay just don't get your boots wet, you know. It should stay pretty, pretty well, pretty, pretty good. If you don't trust the hot glue, you can always um, hot glue it and then, you know, go ahead and stitch it up, hand stitch it up. And I'm just cutting around the, um, cutting the excess off and everything. You guys kind of understand what I'm doing. Um, it's not that difficult. It's kind of like the same thing as how I did my jean boots. If you guys haven't watched that video, make sure that you go watch that video after you watch this one. And I'm basically pulling the, um, the fabric down onto the shoe. These are just some old pumps that I had. Um, nothing really special. I never really wore them. I don't wear a lot of my shoes. That seems to be a problem. Like, that seems to be a big problem, but I'm just going ahead and seam gluing down and I'm just going to go ahead and press onto the seams because you do want to make sure that you're doing this nice and neat. And now I'm just going to go ahead and glue onto the top of the shoe and pull the fabric down and again press on the seams to make sure that it is nice and clean. And then I'm going to cut the excess off and glue the rest of it. Now a tip for when you are taking these off, take them off like you're taking off stockings. I'm pretty sure most of you girls have wore stockings before. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess of the fabric.
and we're gonna go ahead and do the heel now the heel I'm just going ahead and placing on glue and you know stretching the fabric around the heel because I didn't really want a black heel it wouldn't look that bad but I wanted everything to be velvet if that makes any sense And you want to cut off um, the excess fabric from around the heel. And just go ahead and glue that down as well. And then trim away the rest of it. So on for the purse. I am just going to take an old Nine West purse and I am just going to take some extra fabric and basically do the same thing I did with the shoes and just glue the fabric all around the shoe. I mean all around the purse. Jeez, it's late. I'm sorry all around the purse. You guys see what I'm doing. And I'm just doing the same thing. It's kind of repetitive. You guys can really see what I'm doing. Um, why do I say that in every video? You guys can clearly see what I'm doing in the video. The it's a video. But yeah, this is really, really easy. Um, I made a whole outfit. So I made a purse. Um, shoes and a dress as well but that's gonna be in a separate tutorial because obviously this video is already long enough by itself so I had to split them up but you just want to make sure that you're being as neat as possible then cut off the excess and then you're gonna fold that under so it's a nice clean seam and it's not um, got, it doesn't have any stragglies going on or straggly parts of the fabric and I cut off the excess of on the bottom and now I'm just you know hot gluing it onto the bottom and trying to make it as um, neat as possible And I took another piece of fabric and I just laid it on the bottom and um, I pressed, I put some hot glue on it and pressed over it so that it's a lot cleaner. And now you're just going to cut off the excess um, fabric. And I'm just going to cut a hole where the Nine West um, symbol was or the Nine West, what is that called, an emblem symbol? I don't know what it's called, but I want my nine was to show, so I just cut a hole right there and I just kind of glued some, you know, glued it together. Then I did the same thing for like the little belt, not the belt, but the purse buckle. I didn't do the inside because who, who really got time for that? Nobody. So I went ahead and cut around the buckle part and there you have it, a nice velvet purse with some nice velvet boots. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my previous videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye.
Oh,